upon the month star look how the fruit them pretty look how oh, you will have some sorted aki with fresh planting what you say come in all right <laughs> Travel through Jamaica with me, Kareem Latouche, as I explore our rich landscape and creative personalities. Get to see some parts of Jamaica that you may not know or may have overlooked. Nowhere is too far, too muddy or too high. I'll be driving through the 14 parishes and talking to vendors and community members to get the true stories of the various places. This is Kareem's Quest. On my journey today, I'm heading to Treasure Beach and it's such a lovely area. It's like, you know, an appendage to, to St. Elizabeth because you basically have to come off the main and drive south. But once you're here, you feel a nice vibe. You're also in the Breadbasket Parish and you have all the fruits. So, you know, whatever I must say the fruit vendors, I stop and you support them as well. Give me the plum them up there, sir. The one them out there, sir. The, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So, this is one of the beautiful things about being in Jamaica. You get some nice, nice, nice fruits. Bertrand, what the I name? Hmm? What the I name? My name. Yo, yeah. Courtney, Courtney. Yo, Courtney, I love how you set up your style in a Bertrand. I don't want the prettiest style them this may ever see. You are worse. Are, are you relative that? Yeah, man. And what the yellow fruit there right there, sir? Hmm? Honeydew, then. Honeydew. Honeydew? Yeah, man. Alright, bless up on yourself, Zane. Yeah, man, you're welcome. Bless up, Zane. Alright, persons, I'm on my way to Treasure Beach, but I have to stop and get this nice plum. Courtney have one of the most colorful stars, them, right? Yes, sir. Look upon the man, star. Look how the fruit, them, pretty. Look how them, pretty and colorful. Yes, man. This is one of the most beautiful things about Jamaica, just stopping and seeing lovely fruits like that look how it lay out look at the melons them look upon the common manga them where the man have the honeydew the skelly and them where him have as well again the plum them and him have sour sap hang up right there so now this parish is one of the parish them that's known for having great 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 um fruits them and a lot of people them plant them own fruits right yes so big up the man them yeah man see him too Just go and check out this nice little spot and order some food and see what the food is like there. But the journey and the drive is nice and relaxing and it, it gives you a different calmness. You know, it has a different calmness to it when you're in Jamaica and you know you feel like you're somewhere that is outside of the norm. You know, it's a very quiet community and it's a farming and a fishing community as well. How are you doing, Karim? All right, Colleen. <laughs> more eat something, uh, but something light. Start off with something light. What should we try? Yes, man. I think we have the right thing for you. We have some sorted aki with fresh planting. What you say? Come in. All right. right. Thank <laughs> you very much. Thank you very much. All right. It's a lovely day. The sun is yeah, man. basically beautiful. Setting, right? To yeah, find man. all the Kareem's Quest content in one place, visit the website kareemsquest.com you'll see colourful adventure stories, a lot of pictures of Jamaica's beautiful landscape and articles that highlight the many unique things about Jamaica. It's all at kareemsquest.com Beautiful. Yeah man, just go ahead. Right here. Right here, sir. Right here. Alright, see what all have guests to. You have to come sit down dinner because yes, sir. At the end of the day, when I tell them how the food stay, you have to tell me and what 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 have I set up down there, sir? We're having a group here tonight. We have a group of 32 dining with us tonight. Really? Yes, man. Come, <laughs> From time to time. Some of, 
So that's the decorator, the interior decorator right here? Well, that's our event planner. Oh, there. that's your event planner? Yes, yes, we have our in-house event planner. Okay. Wedding, yeah, special occasion, whatever it may be. <laughs> Just get a chance to see. And it's lovely sitting by this. The, yeah, man, the, the right there, see, right? right there. I'm going to try this and see where I'm going. What do you say? I like the hardness of the crust that the, the, the uh, starting a, provides. There is that crunch, eh? The crunchiness as well as the softness of the aki. Aki is a very, um, it's like our national dish and it incorporates it in so many different things. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so this is like a fried plantain and it's basically done in a cup form, right? Yes. Filled with the sauteed aki. And this would be a regular serving size? Yes. Uh, three. Three. Three serving size. Okay, Will you get a brata? Yeah, <laughs> you like a brata. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's well seasoned, by the way. Good. With your fresh scallion and mm -hmm. your scotchy and sweet pepper. Mm -hmm. right. Taste everything, my onion in it as well. You can taste everything in it. It's a lovely appetizer to start things off with. Thank you very much for this one. Um, Another bite. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh boy. So we Jamaican would say you at your raw. So curry and twist. Yes, this is a definite plus for me. It's lovely. It's um, not too salty either. You know, things like that I do pay attention to in terms of you know our diet. And so we have to watch out for that. But it's really a nice appetizer and you know not a lot of salt again. So it really also isn't something that is too heavy on in terms of health-wise. Colleen, thank you for that. What do you think I must try? Now, the reason why I'm doing this people that always are asking, Carrie, how come we never see you try the food yet? Good, so All after right. we try the appetite, <laughs> what do you think must try? Well, we have a jerk chicken on the board. Yeah? A jerk chicken with a red stripe jerk sauce. Okay. With some grilled plantain and pineapple. So they slice up the pineapple. If you're watching this video up to this point, chances are you like Jamaica or Jamaica culture. Here are some free ways you can support this page. Like the video, subscribe, or leave a comment and let us know how you feel. Slice up the planting and the pineapple. And Very healthy. Okay. No oil. No oil. <laughs> no oil. <laughs> Safe on the stomach. <laughs> Grilled chicken, grilled pineapple. All right then. So no oil with the grilled chicken, right? No, no oil. Right, well seasoned too. Well seasoned, natural seasoning. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is a natural seasoning in it. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like the grilled chicken. What do you think about the sauce? One second, let me taste the sauce now. Let me see what the sauce tastes. I taste the red stripe. What's that sweet taste? I think there is a bit of honey. There's a bit of honey in A it. bit of honey. Uh -huh. Let me try this one with the pineapple. The pineapple or the planting for you? Which one? For me, it's a planting, you know. I'm a sweet tooth. Okay. <laughs> now you take off the skin off of the planting. You take the skin off. Mm. So, persons, please take the skin off the planting. It's 
certainly saw somebody eat this biscuit. I don't think there is any harm in eating this skin, no. So the planting is slightly ripe, so it also has a sweet taste to it. The planting is slightly ripe, it, um, a little sprinkling of salt is on it. The grilled chicken does taste that jerk chicken. Yes, here. yes. It's like mm -hmm. a similar type taste to it. I like it, this is a lovely appetizer and this is how this appetizer is served, right? Yes. Entree. <laughs> Sorry, this entree is served. Thank you very much. See, I'm a co host. I'm going to finish with this now. How are you going to set me up now? Well, again, as I tell you, I'm a sweet tooth. So we have a nice um, bread and butter bread pudding. Mm -hmm. You're waiting for you. All right, thank you very much. Harry and Chris is now experiment, experimenting with the food and seeing what the food diet is like and then sharing it with you guys. Have a layer of yes. bread. It's a bread and butter pudding, not a bread pudding. Okay. But what I did for for easier life was um not to butter the bread. Mm -hmm. I melt the butter in my liquid. Okay. This is gonna take a pro probably roughly about 45 minutes to an hour because you gotta soak the bread with the liquid before you actually put it in the oven. Okay. So we're gonna start off. Final meal. Yes. This is my dessert. <laughs> I'm smelling, um, is this rum and raisin? Rum cream. Rum cream? Rum cream. Alright then. <laughs> and the base is what? It's bread. Bread? Bread, yes. It's a bread pudding. Okay. Rum cream. Rum cream butter bread pudding. I taste cinnamon. Yes. I taste egg. Yes. Some type of egg butter. I taste raisin. Yes. Alright, good. <laughs> it's like so it's, it's, all, it's all there. It's all it's there. Like pudding, yes, it's like a bread pudding with you adding some rum cream. Mm. <laughs> and topped with the vanilla ice cream. Alright, let me taste it. So the, the, the bread pudding on the base is very warm. And um, you can smell the vanilla in the ice cream. And that's the first thing that makes my nose good. And then once I... Let me just try this now because I tried the bread by itself. Yes. It's a nice combination, man. <laughs> the warmth of the, of the base, which is the bread, and the, the coolness of the ice cream also creates a, a very nice feeling. And the good thing about the, the bread is that it's not too sweet. No, So the not sweetness sweet. comes from the ice cream. The ice cream, give it that sugar. Yes. <laughs> so it's, it's basically layered. They're layered on top of each other. And in between the bread, I think you'd have like your cinnamon and your your um, your raisins and your different um, different ingredients right there. So the, the exterior of it has like this crusting, which is a bit which is a bit harsh um, and and gives a nice harsh texture, while the interior is very soft. And this is made in house. In house. In house. All right. To all my guests, to all my viewers, thank you very much for tuning in to Karim's Quest. This was a lovely episode. Get some time to eat some food. And finally, I get to give <laughs> you guys my feedback. They've always asked for feedback, you know? Well, now you can give them some feedback, right? So, so this, is, this dessert is called, remind me of the name? It's the rum cream butter bread pudding. And it's available Top every with, time? Not all the time. Really? Not all the time. How comes? Because we have a wide variety of desserts, so we so try if to. Not this then, what else we should try? Coconut cream pie, Coconut or cream. or the key lime pie. Or the key lime pie. Or the key lime pie. All right, person. So you have to try one of these things. But <laughs> if this is not there, right? Check out first and make sure that this is there. And if it's not, <laughs> then. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> there are other great substitutes. Yeah, there are other great substitutes. <laughs> yes, but. All right, first thing, remember you can find my content on all social media platforms, Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, and um, YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Please click the notification bell to get um, your alerts every time there are new videos. And you can also find extra content of this location on my website, kareemsquest.com. As usual, you're always welcome to join the quest.